Welcome back to another video. New York State Audit here, and we're at the City Hall in Schenectady, New York. Once again, we're here to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to record in public and publicly accessible areas. The last time we were here, they gave us a hard time. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty interesting experience, to be honest. They uh, wanted my ID. I didn't give it to them. You know, I invoked my Fourth Amendment right. And they, uh, you know, they were actually willing to compromise, I suppose. So I'll give them that. And they wanted my name. So I gave them my name, Good Citizen. And uh, from there, you know, it went, <laughs> it went to them wanting to escort me. Because they were going to have me go to the mayor's office. Because they didn't know exactly where I needed to go. But uh, eventually they just took my name, Good Citizen, and allowed me to go through. So we're going in. We're going to see uh, how they treat us. And uh, hopefully there isn't any issues with the whole ID thing. But uh, I am actually going to court here. I'm taking someone to court. So I'm going to room 214. So uh, I do have uh, plenty of reasons to be here, not just to gather content, but as well, I want to go to court. I as well want to go to uh, the city council's uh, room, which I believe is 107. And maybe I'll go to the city clerk's office. I'm not sure what room that is, but we could check out their annual budget there while we're here. I got about 25 or so minutes. So uh, excuse the camera footage. I still am wearing uh, a little splint on my ankle. So uh, I haven't been able to put anything out because of it. It's been very hard to walk with crutches. So uh, bear with me when it comes to the recording, guys. Let me show you guys real quick before I go in. This is what they gave me last time I came in. Good citizen. So we'll see how this goes. Thank you for your service. All right, so we're here. First thing you see, please have your ID available. I'm just looking around. Where you gotta go? I am going to room 214. Alright, do I need your ID? Uh, why do you need my ID? You gotta get, you have to have a pass to get upstairs to the second floor. Okay, well this is a public building. That's kind of weird that you, you need my ID. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna What's your name? Um, I didn't give it yet. Um, I'm going to respectfully decline the ID part. I'm going to invoke my Fourth Amendment right. Uh, uh, Mass John Doe on you. Huh? John Doe. Yes, and... Take your, everything off your back? Of course. Can I get your name, sir? Why do you need my name? Because you actually... Uh, I interacted with you last time, and I didn't get your name. Oh. Awesome. And may I have yours since uh, we were talking? No. No? You're not going to give me yours. I'm not giving you mine. Oh, that's kind of unprofessional. No, it's not are, you, really. uh, are, you are you a are you security here or a police officer? That's really not your business. 
Oh, wow. Is that how you talk to the public? Hey, that's how I talk to you. Oh, talk to me. Oh, interesting. Where do you have to go? You don't want to give me information. I don't have to give you information. Go right around. Well, it's a public building, sir. I don't have to give you that information. Hey, well, if you're an officer, if you're an officer, it's your policy to, to give me your, your name. Are you an officer? Do you have a contract with City Hall or something? Or? Oh, I can get that information. Yeah, I can do that right now. Hi. Daniel. Keep your voice down, Daniel. Excuse me. Excuse me? I don't know who you're talking to, sir. So can I, you, did you write your name yet, or? I'm doing it right now. It looks like you're looking through some paperwork there. Huh? I said it looks like you're looking through paperwork and writing. I'm going to take that off. No, I'm going to leave this on because I have my camera on. No, you've got to take that off. Yeah, I, I need it for my safety. You can, uh, you can always check it for yourself with the wand and stuff. I don't know who you're talking about, sir. But if that's what you want to call me, if that makes you feel better, uh, I'm going to ask you not to go through my wallet like you did last time. We do go through wallet. Yes, you did. I actually have it on recording. That's why I'm actually here to talk to the city council about. Room 107. So may I please have your name? In a minute. I can't see your name bag. Raymond J. Come on, sir. You're holding up the holding up. Oh, you didn't tell me to go through yet. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, you didn't tell me to go through. Okay, go on. I'm not going up? I'll be going up once I get your information, Mr. Raymond. I'm here. I haven't gone anywhere. Thank you very much. I just need this gentleman's name. He said he will write it down. And please don't tell me to move, sir. I have a right to stand where I want to. Please don't raise your voice. Don't raise your voice, sir. I don't understand why you got to be unreasonable. Because you're standing in my way. I'm not in your way. You were when I said it. If you say so, sir. You're definitely not cut out for this job, man, the way you treat people. See you later, pal. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm waiting for his name. So you can tell me all you want. Taylor, T-A-Y, I'm going to want. Because you're being unprofessional. I don't know what the, I don't know who you're talking to. I'm just waiting for your name, so Mr. Raymond. You know you want to give me his last name so I can be on my way? You're not gonna tell me what company you work for? You're not gonna, you're not gonna tell me what company you work for? So this gentleman right here, Raymond. And this guy right here, who doesn't want to identify himself, is treating me rudely. Telling me to go on my way. This gentleman right here is the worst of the two. So we're gonna get his name and information. We'll get his, uh, his title, his salary, and stuff like that while we're here, because that's available to the public. So I'll get his name regardless. He does, he's uh, obviously unaware of that. And this is the guy right here, Raymond, that invaded my privacy by going through my wallet the, the, the last time I was here. I'm in your view your camera. It's okay. This, this, this is public property, ma'am. I'm sorry how you feel like that. Have a good day.
I'm just waiting for you to give me your name and I'll be on my way. I'm saying, why are you recording everybody else so you got an issue with them? Yeah. I'm not recording them, man. You're recording everybody. I'm looking right at him. I'm looking right at him. Please, yeah, yeah. please leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm not a cop. I don't give a fuck what you doing. You're going to stop recording me. I know that shit. Sir, I'm not even recording you. I'm looking right at him. You want to just give me your last name? I'll be on my way. I got stuff to do too. I just want your last name. Yeah, I do. I am working. Can I get your last name, please? You said you were going to write it down for me, sir. And I've been patiently waiting. You know, you're at work, so you shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> I'm a public member, so. <laughs> No. How you don't know who I am when you when you wrote this name tag for me with that information? What, what information did you get this from? Huh? If you didn't go through my wallet, you know there's a camera right there, and I already uh, filed the foil for it. You know that, right? Because if you don't, I'm going to 214. After you tell me your last name. Don't tell me upstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna find out then. No problem. Oh, I'm not. I'm going to find out right now. Thank you. Thank you for your unprofessionalism. For the world to see. Especially you. So right off the bat, this guy was disrespectful to us, both of them. And I was right about him going through my wallet the last time I was here. Because he wrote down my name on a name tag for me. And he said my name out loud. How can he have that information if I didn't provide it to him the last time I was here? So yeah, we have a problem. They definitely like to violate people's Fourth Amendment right here. How you doing? You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. I've had better days. <laughs> we have an elevator too. <laughs> yeah, actually, let me take my mask off. It's easier to breathe and talk that way. We have way. an elevator too. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I came through the side amateurs. Um, uh, well, since you approached me and it was so nice to me, um, who am I speaking to? Andrew Holden. Andrew? Yeah. Um, do you know where, what room the city council uh, would be? The city council? Are you here for court? or? No, actually, I, I am here for court. I got to go to room 214 for that, which is uh, upstairs. Because okay, yeah, there, there's no city council room. The city council, they meet in actually one of the courtrooms during their court meetings. Okay. They also meet, or during their, um, their council meetings, they also meet in room 110 down here okay. for their committee meetings. So there's no actual council room. Okay, so... What are you looking to do? I would like to speak to someone to file a complaint for one. Okay. Uh, the, are these security guards downstairs or officers or like... They're, they're, they have a contract with City Hall? No, they're, I think they're, they're employed by City Hall. So, so they you can file, Yeah, if you want to file a complaint, you want to... Yeah, you, um, you head down to the mayor's Yeah, one, one, yeah, yeah. Se one second, one second. Um, briefly, yes, I want to file a complaint okay. against the two guys. They wouldn't give me their information. Okay. Okay. Um, I also want to find out before I go into court because my appointment is at 930. Okay. I want to find out uh, what's going on with this whole uh, policy with the whole ID because they're demanding an ID downstairs. Okay. Okay. And I, and I came here last time and I told them that I'm not going to give them my ID because I'm within my right, my Fourth Amendment right to do so. Okay. And what they did, the guy downstairs, well, I, I'm just I don't, telling you what happened. I know, I I'm just telling you. I, I don't accept. Like, I don't. I know. No, I'm not giving you the complaint. No, I'm no, just. So what, what I'm saying is I can kind of tell you where you need to awesome, go. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So you can go to the mayor's office. Yep. And file a 111. There. 
Room 111? I can show you where it is. I don't know I'm pretty sure it's 111. I was here before. It's down here last time. Yes, yeah, so yeah. 111. Yeah. Yes. Um, and for the annual budget, I can go to city clerk for that? The, uh, copy of the budget? Yes. There's one online. I, don't, I can check to see if the city clerk has a copy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, okay, I'll be there. Sh yeah, I'll be there shortly. Okay. You said your name was Andrew, right? Yes. Awesome. Nice. Thank you for your help, Mr. Andrew. I'm going to be heading over there to uh, yeah. so, city this place. So, office is right here, so you can ask them for a copy of the budget. Um, I don't know if they have a hard copy available. Okay. The mayor's office may have a copy of it too. Okay. I'll put um, my mask on. Just, just sec. Do you want to see if they have a copy? Um, so you don't have to of this of the annual budget, of the budget yeah. yes that'd be I mean, awesome yeah. mr andrew wait oh, mr andrew what uh, what is your title here corporation council corporation council yeah okay so you're you uh you're in charge of like the legality I'm the, I'm, I'm the attorney and stuff for the city. exactly okay yep. all right so a so, oh, quick question do you know that the policy when they demand uh id that's a, a violation of the fourth amendment right you, I, I you don't, do know that I, right i don't necessarily agree with that and that's fine because uh what, what do you mean I, you don't I, agree I don't, with that I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get into some type of legal debate with you. No, no, it's just cordial conversation. Well, well no, but you're, you're, you know, you know that it is. You're telling me that it's a. No, I'm just wondering if you know that. Well, it's a because you're you know this is this is uh this is this is public property. You're, you know, you're so presupposing that's a violation of the Fourth Amendment. I did, so How? so you're, you're, you already have a legal conclusion. I would be happy to look at any case law or any legal opinions that you have. Okay. Um, certainly take a look at it. Well, the, the, you know, the Fourth Amendment right there, you can just look at that. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, the Constitution. I don't. I, I, no, I don't because okay. it's not a hard and fast rule. There's case law that says in certain places you would have to show ID. Right, but not in a public building. Oh, you know, house. like, because, you, you know, it goes, it goes, you know, the Constitution, Again, law, statutes. An I'm not here to have an argument. No, you. it's not an argument, Mr. Or, Andrew. Or, just... or a conversation about it. Or oh, well, that's fine. I just don't want you to feel like it's a, it's an argument, you know. Copy of the, um, the budget, Amy. Do Is, do, copy yeah, do we have a copy of the budget that we can provide your name, Mr. Castillo? That's what they gave me. Okay. Because, like I told What's you, your name? they went through my. Uh, I, I don't want to give it. To be okay, honest, at this I moment, I was you know, how well, first name at least? Well, that's the whole point. I would nat I, I, naturally, I wouldn't have a problem giving it to you. Just in this it's case, fine. the you way I was treated. You give it to me, well, we I, I did, it. I did, but and you're making you, you know, you stated that because you gave me uh, well, yours. I'm just saying, I want to know who I'm talking to, so I can at least not say this guy. <laughs> well, this this is what they gave me, so well, I guess okay. you can call me good citizen if if right, never mind. it's up to you, sir. Well, it's, okay. it's fine. <laughs> Okay, so print one out for you, all right? Awesome. And is that the correct time right there? Uh, uh, two, it's about 917? 918 on my phone. 918? Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Andrew. Yep. Yeah. So is, uh, how can I get um, their names from downstairs since they're City Hall employees? I don't know who's down there today, so we can check. The first guy's name is Raymond. The okay. other guy, he wouldn't identify himself. Okay. Um, we can find out who... I want Raymond's last name because he actually went through my wallet and got my information, which I got on, on, on camera. I have it on camera. Okay. okay. And okay. I filed a FOIL for, the, for your guys' camera here because it's public information. Okay. So. I, I don't know who they are. I don't know who's working today because okay. I've been down there. Um, you good? No, I'm just, uh, just got to balance myself. <laughs> so, um, it's, you know, I, I am on crutches. If you'd like, um, you know, we can look into it. I don't know who's down there because I've okay. been down there. Um, you said you submitted a FOIL request? I have already submitted a FOIL okay. request for the video footage. Okay. So can, I'm just I waiting can, for a response for that. Okay, I can find out who's working. Um, yes. To look into it. Um, you know. And this is where I'm filing my complaint, correct? Yeah, there's a, okay. I think you can file a complaint here. So I can explain it to her? Okay. And, um, I, yeah, he got a police form the last time he went there. I, yeah, I got a free um, a, a, a foil information. Yeah, yeah should get right. I, I'm not I'm not here for that, Miss um, Amy. I'm, a concerned I'm, citizen would like to file a complaint against a particular employee of the city. Yes, for violating like violating my Fourth so, Amendment right by I, by I going through my wallet. Yeah, I mean, other than the one for the police department itself, I mean, and just leaving a message for the mayor. That's really yeah. so. I don't know if you want to just. Write something and provide it, or you can go on um, the city website and there's a place where you can do, I think, a complaint tracker. We can, you know, put information in about a complaint. 
Okay, so I can either write it, have it put it in writing now, now is what you're saying, or well, go online? Well, I want to do it orally. So I, want, I would like to do it because orally. Because if we do it orally, there's no, I, 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 my, my preference, this is just me, right, right. would be that there's some type of document. Oh, no, it's documented. I'm recording. No, but if you're going to, you're not following me. If you're going to lodge a complaint with somebody orally, it would be good to put it in writing so that, um, you know the game of operator? Right, no, of course, so of course. If you, if you tell me orally, I may not capture everything exactly okay. the way you say it. Um, and then if I were to provide that to the mayor. Oh, it's really easy, though. It's really easy. I, I came, I invoked my Fourth Amendment right, and the guy with the glasses, Raymond, rummaged through my wallet to get my, my information. That's, okay. that's simple. Okay. Um, I prefer you put it in writing. I'm okay, I'll do both. I would like to do both if possible. Okay. Right. I'm, not, I'm not the intake person. For I know, but I'm just since she's, Miss Amy's not talking to me, you know, I have to I have to speak to you, Mr. Andrew. Well, you don't have to speak to me. You're choosing to speak to me. <laughs> well, because we just there's in, nobody we, else we here. Just, we just bumped into each other in the hallway. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, right I'm on my way to drop something at the off. moment, I have unless you can refer me to someone else. Well, this would be the place to logic. Well, complaint. again, I I have to speak to you because there's Please. no one else. <laughs> you told me the process, and and I appreciate that, and I would like to do it orally with someone. Uh, and I would like to, and at the same time, I will file it me, uh, on paper you as well. Paper I'm, done. I'll, I'm just going to write down what you tell me then. All awesome. Right? Just so that I, I don't yep. want to lose anything right. you know, in, in yeah. the process of taking a complaint. Awesome. How do we follow up with you? I'm gonna, I'll give you my name, okay. first and last. Okay. And I will give you my uh, yeah. phone number. Okay. So, See, because I, I don't have a problem you know, giving you my information. Me. Happy birthday, Amy. Yes, happy birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. What I'm going to do is once I take this in writing, I'm just going to type it up awesome. so I can provide it to more than one party yep. so they can look into it. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Approximately what time did it happen? About 9 o'clock? A couple minutes after 9? Oh, just now? Yeah. No, the situation happened uh, the last time I was here. Oh, so it wasn't today? No, it was not today. Okay. So when was the last time? It was time not here? today. Was, uh, um... Hmm. Uh, I think it was on a Monday, which was last week. Yes. So, not this yeah. past so I think it was like the ninth like, or something like that. It would be, let's say, two days ago was sixteenth. Oh, okay. Would be the ninth, right? Okay. Yeah, I, I can't remember at the moment exactly. Uh, I have it written down. And uh, about what time? Yeah. Oh, geez. Hmm. Let me see. Actually, let me show you something. Actually, can you give me the time real quick? Like I said, I have to be in court at 9:30. Yes, uh, 9:22. Awesome. So it was the 9th at 10:03. This is what they gave me. 10:03. Yeah. If you can see for yourself, I came exactly to this office. I okay. gave him this. Is what I gave him, good citizen. Okay. And I recorded the whole situation, and he rummaged through my wallet to get my name. So on the 9th. You said it was the two guys who were downstairs working security? Raymond was there. The other guy who's there now was not there. Raymond? I don't know his last name. He would not give it to me. He said he would give it to me. Security. Um, Rummage through wallet? Yep, at 10.03, 47 a.m. is when I came through. Okay, so I have the proof here that I was actually okay. here. I also recorded the whole situation. You know, I, I didn't appreciate how they treated me. You want to, can you provide me with a copy of that video so that I Of can course, if you give me your email, I'll, I'll give sure. you a link. I'll send you a link. Yeah, absolutely. And you... um, I don't have my card on me because I wasn't expecting. Um, I'm going to take a post-it note here. Amy, can I take a post-it note? I don't have a card. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. But yeah, um, this, this name tag right here, that you can use the information that's on it because that is my information. My whole thing is, today I, I also invoked my Fourth Amendment right not to give him my ID. And you know what he did? Looked at a piece of paper and wrote this name down himself. Here's my okay. contact info. Awesome. All right, my name. Okay. Here's the budget. Is this copies of it? That's a copy of the 2020. Yeah. Oh, so I can take this with me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. Um, so what's the best way for me? So I'm going to look into this. Um, yes, please do. What's the, Phone number? What, yeah, what's the um, that's what happened that day. Okay. He, he rummaged. I have the recording. You'll be able to see yourself. Okay. What if, he, you, if you send me a link 
the video so I can take a look at it. Yeah, right? yeah, you'll see that once I said I'm invoking my Fourth Amendment right, he flips over my phone because they already knew I was recording, okay. and that's when he decided to rummage through my things. That's why I'm side, yeah. uh, doing well, a foil for the camera yeah, to prove so it. What I'm going to do is, you know, I know, you know, I'll, I'll send it off to various, you know, awesome. I think should be looking at. Awesome. It, yeah. Right? And you know, as I said, if we we did something wrong, we're going to handle it. You know, um, when it comes to employees and discipline, we don't make it public. No, that, that's fine. No, of course not. That's your, you know, that's behind the scenes thing that I don't have access to, you know, but I, but I but do have I'll a right to, to his I'll name. To that, but I'll talk to you about resolution. Awesome. You know, if something happens, I'll let you know what it is. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, um, Mr. Andrew. You need to know the name of the person. I'll, I'll get you the name of the person. Yeah. I only know his first. I just want his last name and stuff, yep. you know, his title if possible, sure. you know, because he, he was, for him going through yep. my belongings is unacceptable. Is there another way for, can I email you anything? Yeah, um, of so course, of like course. Well, yeah, email. if you can give me your card. Well, you, if, have my, you have my email address. Oh, I'm sorry, okay, I forgot. So all right. Shoot me so, an email, so, yep, and, and, and you'll have my email address from that. Okay. Awesome. Right. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, please, thank yeah. you so much. You have my the documents there. I put it in there for the mayor. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Miss Amy. Have a good day. Bye. All right. Want to Uh, I just don't want to be late. I'll be all right if you're talking to later. I don't think they're going to. Those are other people I'm guessing who are scheduled for 9.30. Yeah, I would, I would assume so. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, taking your time out for me. I know you didn't have to, Mr. Andrew. No, you know, and, and I didn't want to make you feel like, uh, like it was an argument or anything like that. You know, I, I was just having know. a cordial conversation. You know, that's all. So in this elevator, is it well, over here? What I've heard is reasonable people, reasonable people can disagree, right? So of we course. Don't have to agree on everything. Well, the Supreme Court, you know, has... We should, has always, we should always be striving to do better. Of course. You know, but the Supreme yeah. Court has ruled, you know, that you know, people do have a right well, to... Saying, so, you know, if you want to send me... You're going to get my, you have my yeah. email address. Yes, yes, I, I definitely will. You that, you know, that you have. Okay. I'm happy to take a look at it. You know, did, you know, did you hear that somebody was arrested here a few months back, a woman, for um, uh, invoking her Fourth Amendment right not to give ID? No, I don't always get that information. Well, that's what I mean. You know, that's an yeah. you know, so issue. You're, you're going to go with the two. Yes, right. sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Andrew. I'll be getting in touch with you soon. All right. So we did one step. I'm going to be heading into court. I'm going to end up pausing the recording, and I'll continue the recording when I get out the, uh, the courtroom. So yeah, definitely a bad start for the guys up front. Fourteen court Castillo. Yes. I have not. Any flights in from the fever in the past three days? No. And have you had COVID in the past five days? You've been all right, but I have it. Nope. You just give me a second so I can, uh, yeah, I just want to put this away too. Oh man, you can't take uh, your likes for granted. <laughs> Didn't realize that pocket was open. All right, I'm just gonna keep this on, it's buckled in the back. I just have my phone right there. Yeah, you just gotta take the Oh, I just went through the, the thing downstairs with this. Yeah, that's, that's the city. Okay, that's, that's, that's weird, no problem. No problem. All right, this, right? Wallet. Port? 
Yeah, I just uh, checked in with her. Oh, number 10. Okay. There you are, sir. End of the hall down there? Yes, sir. I just, make, I just need a moment. Once you go inside, you can see the officer. You'll check in. Just make sure all the cell phones are on. Oh, sign in. And have a seat. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, uh, Officer Carpenter. Sergeant. Sergeant. My apologies. No I didn't see the stripes. That's all right. I was looking down. I'm sorry. You earned that title, you know, I, sh I, I, I should Took see that. <laughs> hey, you passed the test, so that's earning it to me. Well, definitely, I, I meant no, today no. I'm sergeant of multiple buildings throughout the uh, county of Schenectady. <laughs> yeah, I definitely meant no offense. No, not at all. In case you need the information, just want to make sure it's accurate. Thank you so much. I appreciate your professionalism and your integrity. Copy that. What time is it? Oh, my apologies. Right now? Yes, sir. It is 9.32. Okay. No more time to lollygag, huh? <laughs> Bless you. Right. Yeah, this is the only reason why I didn't want to take it off. Because it's a pain in that butt to clip it in. I understand. <sighs> Thank you, though. You yeah, make sure you check in with the officer inside. Make no. Sure cell phones, electronics turn off. Yes, sir. So straight ahead, right? Alright, so we're about to go in. Oh. 14. And we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. So I just finished my court session. Now we're gonna head downstairs. When we get out of here, we're actually going to get a hold of Mr. Andrew so we can email him the video of the that security guy, Raymond. You know what? Let's take the elevator. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? All right, Sergeant Carpenter, have a good day. You have a good day, Officer Baker. All right. Okay, what's this say? Let's go to the ground floor. So we're definitely gonna get these guys' names, these security officers or officers who wanna be rude to us, disrespectful, you know? And I don't even think they knew I was recording, which is good, because then we get to see an actual authentic reaction from these knuckleheads so we can't go that way not too bad how are you so we're coming up up to these guys now Yeah, it's like, it's so many Myrtle Beaches now. Yeah, it's like, it's so many Myrtle Beaches and 
Myrtle. Myrtle Beach itself. Yeah, where they had the then, car shows. Right by, yeah, where the airport is. Yeah, okay. If you go down south just a little bit, yeah, there's Surfside, Garden State, and then Myrtle Beach. Oh, yeah, that's where the money is. Yeah. Excuse the sh <laughs> shaky footage. Sort of good restaurant, good restaurant. Yeah, good restaurant. It's hard to balance myself on crutches. So, oh, you're calling people idiot, huh? Very unprofessional. This guy's over here calling me an idiot. This is the guy we gotta get his last name. Who's that, Ears? Oh, you guys are talking about my name when you rummage through my wallet? Oh, that's what you're talking about when you violated my Fourth Amendment right? That's what you're talking about? Oh, that's how you got my name, right? Oh, okay. Just making sure. Yeah, I already went to a corporate council and I spoke to them, so I got your guys' names, don't worry. We're filing a complaint. Yeah, you don't have to be scared. But when the thousands and hundred thousands of viewers see this and they file complaints, hey, we'll see, won't we? I'm actually right here. What do you tape about? The unprofessionalism here? What's also unprofessional about it? Why do you want to know? That's cool. I'm only taping you because you spoke to me. I, I asked you a question. That's speaking to me. Have a good day. Here. Must be the crisis. Must be your ego. Yeah, if you could tell, I'm not in the way. Not even in the way. Look, look how much room there is. I, I, I'm glad it's funny to you. It is funny. Yeah, I know, because you're a clown. Hey, Harry, how you doing? Harry, what's your last name? Balls. That would is Z. Try to enjoy your day. I'll definitely make sure you get reprimanded, Mr. Raymond, for going through my belongings, violating my Fourth Amendment right. Have a good day. Yes, you did. I got it on camera. Got it on camera. Have a good day. You might want to check your ego, buddy. All right. So we just left the city hall. And again, they have failed. Not only do they want your ID, which is against the Fourth Amendment. That's a violation. On top of that, they want to talk down to you and disrespect you and look through your wallet to get your information. So that's all I needed. And he just proved on video that he went through my belongings. Perfect. That being said, I'm not surprised, definitely a failure. 
See this guy too want to run his mouth. It's because some people don't know how to mind their business. I'm sorry. No, you're not, you're fine, ma'am. My apologies. I didn't realize how close I was there. So all I can really say is that they definitely failed. They violated our Fourth Amendment right by searching my wallet when I told them I wasn't gonna identify myself. We got it all recorded because the guy told me my name after I wouldn't identify myself because he looked at a piece of paper. How did he get that name? Because the last video that I came here and recorded, I ended up catching him, turning over my phone and rummaging, rummaging through my belongings. I filed a FOIA, like I said already, to get the camera, public footage camera, of the incident. And I've already spoke to an attorney inside City Hall. So I'm gonna email him the video and we're gonna go from there. These people need to be held accountable for how they treat the public. You're supposed to treat the public with respect, not with disrespect. But that's pretty much it for the video. Everybody take care and I'll see you next time.